Good morning everybody and welcome to our service at Hope Church in Dawlish. My name is Jane and I'm part of the leadership team. For those of you who are new to us, uh, we are a family church with people from all denominational backgrounds. We're going through a transformation period at the moment. We are transforming uh, from Dawlish Christian Fellowship to Hope Church. It's been a very exciting time, but as you can imagine, also very challenging. A few years ago, we felt that God was calling us to be quite a different church from what we have been up until that point. The gospel never changes, the good news of Jesus Christ never changes, God's word never changes. But of course, the way that we can portray the good news can change. We felt that God wanted us to be a far more outwardly focused church, so that we would be more effective in reaching people in Dawlish and the surrounding area, those who don't yet know Jesus, we, we were really praying that we'd become more effective in reaching them with the good news. If you're new and you want to know more about our journey, you're very welcome to email in any questions to the church office. Also, I would strongly recommend that you go back over the series that we've just completed called Hope is Rising. This was a, a close look at the book of Acts and in that the idea behind it was that we were looking at how the new church actually functioned and we were looking for things that we could apply to us today in our specific situation in Dawlish. Right, today's service, um, Ian is going to be leading us in prayers later and Anthea is leading us in worship. And Sandra has prepared material for the children in junior church. So thanks guys for all your hard work. Later on, Andy is going to be doing an on the sofa session with guests Michael and Pauline. They're going to be looking back at two of the talks from the Hope is Rising series. And with specific reference to what stood out to Michael and Pauline and how they're going to be putting that into um, everyday practice in their, in their lives. In the Home Alone talk that Andy originally brought to us, there are quite a number of challenges in there. And it struck me that when you're presented with a challenge, if you're of a more perhaps timid nature, you can try and totally refuse to engage with a challenge, or you can um, very reluctantly engage with it. And of course, neither options are really any good for yourself or for those around you because change is inevitable. Coming on to the other talk they're going to discuss later, that was Brave Heart. That was by Alion Rowland. And in there, they really looked at courage, specifically the way the Apostle Paul clearly demonstrated that characteristic. There was plenty of encouragement within that talk for us too, as members of Hope Church, to actively seek to be courageous. Especially during this time of transition from Dawlish Christian Fellowship into Hope Church. Before we enter into our time of worship and prayer, I just want to read again one of the verses that Ali brought to us. That's from 1 Corinthians 16 verse 13. Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. The Apostle Paul here was writing to the whole church, not just one or two individuals that had an extra dose of um, braveness, if there is such a thing. He was talking to everybody. So why was he able to exhort all of the believers in Corinth to be courageous and strong? That, I feel, is because Paul knew that God, who was calling the believers to be courageous and strong would himself give them the strength to be just that as they lived in relationship with him. Hebrews 13 says, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. So we can say with confidence, the Lord is my helper, I will not be afraid. Let's pray before I hand over to Ian. Father God, we thank you that we can come before you this morning with great confidence. We thank you that hope is indeed rising amongst us. 
Father, we thank you that you, we know that you are going to finish the work that you've started amongst us. Father, we pray this morning as we virtually gather together that you would help each one of us to listen very carefully to the prayers, to the words of the songs, to the spoken message um, coming from Michael and Pauline and Andy on the sofa later on. Father, help us to listen carefully. Help us to be encouraged and inspired to go on to greater things for you. Father, I just want to thank you for the um, measure, great measure of unity that there is amongst us. Father God, on a journey like this, we realise that things could be, things have been tough, and things will no doubt be difficult as well in the future at times. But Father, we know that this is your work and we praise you that when you give us a work to do, you also give us the strength to carry it out. So we just thank you so much for this. In your name, Lord Jesus. Amen. <laughs>